One strategy that independent Taipei candidate Ke wen has used to appeal to centrist voters is recruiting prominent pan-blue figures to join his campaign. While Ke is stressing reconcilia reconciliation, several leading KMT figures are attempting to support party nominee Shan Lian by focusing on historic group divisions. While this tactic may appeal to the KMT base, it could end up alienating other voters. Ke told me, I come from a family with a 228 incident victim. You come from a family of post-World War II immigrants, as does your wife. I am seen as deep green. You are seen as deep blue. If we stand together, all Taipei residents will see that reconciliation is possible between the pan-blue and pan-green camps. While Ke is urging reconciliation, the old KMT guard is inciting division. First, KMT honorary chairman Lian Zhan accused Ke of being the grandson of an official from the Japanese colonial period. Former Premier Hao bo Sun went a step further by calling Ke's grandfather privileged. He is a descendant of a Taiwan family that was faithful toward the Japanese emperor. You could say his grandfather is of the privileged class, just like Li Donghui. They must cherish the memory of the high social position they held during the Japanese colonial period. According to his theory, anyone who didn't migrate to Taiwan in 1949 with the KMT was faithful toward the Japanese emperor. Earlier, Howard said that the Republic of China would vanquish if Sean Lian lost the election. These comments led legislator Tsai Huanglong to say that efforts to control the population by sowing divisions based on national identity or group conflict are bound to fail.